United Airlines Flight 629, a Douglas DC-6B airliner, took off from Stapleton Airfield in Denver on November 6, 1955, bound for Portland, Oregon. Flight 629 abruptly crashed outside of Longmont, Colorado, just 11 minutes after takeoff. The plane's debris was dispersed across several kilometers, and all 44 people on board were dead. Because eyewitnesses reported hearing a loud explosion prior to the collision, it appeared that a bomb was to blame. The FBI checked the passengers' backgrounds to determine if any of them had obtained life insurance before the flight, maybe in response to the gay attack that happened six years prior. Until revisions to the system in the 1980s, flight insurance could be commonly purchased in vending machines at airports. Daisy Eldora King, 53, was one of the passengers who stood out. She had purchased some insurance policies that were suspiciously not signed. John Gilbert Graham, her son, was supposed to collect the policies, the amount of $37,500, and receive her wealth. Graham, on the other hand, had a criminal past and had been accused of embezzlement by check forgery, bootlegging, insurance scam, and was once accused of blowing up his mother's restaurant to collect insurance. Graham's wife stated to authorities that her husband had slipped a wrapped Christmas present inside his mother's luggage just before she left for her flight. Graham finally admitted to planting the bomb on Flight 629 after bomb-making parts were discovered in his home. On January 11, 1957, Graham was found guilty of murder and killed in the gas chamber.